Okay, in this uh, video, we're going to take a look at tapping. So if you haven't gotten into tapping much before, uh, this would be a good place to start. Uh, the first place that I really encountered tapping was the music of Eddie Van Halen. Uh, I had an older cousin that was a huge Van Halen fan, and he showed me a bunch of his tunes as well as like Eruption and some of the tapping technique that I'd never encountered before. And so uh, as you know, I went on and I got more into acoustic guitar, I discovered players that were doing tapping on acoustic as well. Um, but I'd like to maybe just show you some of the sort of styles of, uh, of tapping that I first heard. And it kind of is a good entry to figuring out how to get that tap with the, with the right hand and pulling off to other strings and hammering on, things like that. So I'm just going to give you a few examples uh, and things that you can do to practice to start getting comfortable with tapping. So. Um, Tapping on the acoustic guitar has a little bit of an issue that isn't uh, as prevalent on the electric. And, and especially if you're playing unplugged, when you tap a note, you actually get two notes. You get a note from the fret to the bridge and also a note from the fret to the nut. So when you, when you first hit that, you hear two notes. So let me show you, if I mute the strings here, that's the actual note you'd like to hear. That's an E there on the 12th fret. So what I'm doing is coming down with the index finger right on the 12th fret and just pressing it hard. You have to come down kind of fast and hard to get that note to come out. If you do it too weak, you're not going to get much volume. So you want to kind of come down hard on it like that. And with this kind of tapping, I usually kind of grab the neck too with these hands. So my thumb is up on top and then my other fingers are here on the underside of the neck. And so kind of like you have some leverage and then you're coming down tapping the note. So back to the two notes thing though. When you mute these strings behind the fret here, you're stopping the note that's going to be coming out from the nut to the fret. And that's the note you want to hear, the uh, 12th fret to the bridge. But if you don't do that mute, you can kind of hear this sound. Okay, and that's it's like an F. So you're getting E and F at the same time, uh, which is just a, a semitone apart, and it kind of creates some tension. It's not the note you want to hear. So when you do tapping on the acoustic guitar, if you're plugged in, that helps a lot. Because if you have a pickup, it's only going to pick up that note that's down in this area where your pickup is from the fret to the bridge. So that's one issue that you get with tapping on, on the acoustic guitar, unfortunately, is you get those two notes uh, especially if you're unplugged, you can hear that, uh, the note that goes from the uh, nut to the fret. Okay? But uh, if you're plugged in, you won't hear that other one so much. But let's try a couple of exercises here with, with tapping on the acoustic. And like I said, this is more kind of like a Eddie Van Halen style, um, which you probably won't do much of on an acoustic guitar, taking a, a lead solo and tapping. Um, usually tapping on the acoustic guitar involves harmony and, and trying to cover a lot of basses rather than just kind of uh, a lead solo kind of thing. But these little techniques and exercises are good just to get the feel of tapping and, and pulling off and hammering on. So let's start with the 12th fret on your first string, that E. And then we're going to pull that off and let's go to the 8th fret C here. Okay, so I'm, I'm brushing downward with the index to go to there, C. And then we're going to pull the C off to the A, like that. Okay? Just like that. Okay? So what's do what I'm doing there is I'm bringing the C back on right when I tap the E so that it's ready to pull off again. Okay? This will help you get some coordination too with your hands. You got to make sure you hammer on that eighth fret at the same time as you do the tap so you don't hear any extra note, but you're ready to pull off again. Okay? Let's try another pattern here where we go, where we do hammer the eight back in, like that. Okay. All 
All right, let's try one more here. Now what we're gonna do with this one is pull off to the open E, like that. Let's hammer the A back, hammer the C back, and then tap again, starting over. Okay, like that. So these sort of exercises help to develop the strength in your hands and the coordination to keep that timing. Da -da 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 okay. You can try moving this down a half step and get the major. Move it up a half step if you like. Okay. All right. Just like that. And you can do these on any string. You can try moving it over. And that's, I'd recommend that too because as you move over, you have to be careful about not hitting the other strings. When you're on the first string, you can do these pull offs rather easily and you don't have to worry about hitting a string beneath it. But if you go to the second string, you got to be careful and try not to hit that first string as you go down. Okay, so when you do pull offs and taps like that, you got to pull down and away so you don't hit the first string as you go. Okay? All right. So you can practice that on any string just to get comfortable with the coordination and the tapping with the right hand to get the volume. Just come straight down right on the fret, okay? We're going to expand on this stuff a bit though. As I said, with the acoustic guitar and, and instrumental acoustic guitar, we, we try to cover a lot of bases, you know, when we're playing solo. So we're going to get into some tapping where we have accompaniment a little bit with it. Um, and, and maybe it won't be so pattern based like, like these little exercises. These are just things to kind of get you comfortable with the idea of tapping, as I said. But um, we'll get into some stuff where we have some harmony with the tapping open strings, things like that, because thanks to the altered tunings, you know, we can get beautiful chords with open strings. All right, so there's just a bit of an intro to tapping. All right, let me know if you have any questions.